Hi, it's Simon Sun George from the Tenerife Property Group and I'm here today in Playa San Juan and I've got a very, very special uh, villa to show you. It's totally independent, totally detached and it's one of only probably eight or ten villas actually with this view in Playa San Juan and uh, let's have a look around. So as we walk in through the main entrance here, come in through to a nice large open hallway. Just to the right there, we'll go down in a second, but just to the right there there's some stairs. Let's go into here, the lounge. You can see the sun, we're in the winter and the, the low sun is, is just giving some lovely low light through these gorgeous windows which have views across there to the sea, La Gomera. This has got to be one of the closest villas to the sea, probably about four or five steps across to the beach. Here we have a nice large segregated lounge area. And then we get through here to the kitchen. Now most of these units here in the kitchen have been replaced within the last say six months, eight months, something like that. And pretty much everything's staying in here as well. The owners will be taking some furniture with them but everything's negotiable as we all know. So that's the lounge, the dining room, kitchen, back down past the main door here. And on this same level, no stairs, same level, we've got a fam well, family or a visitor's toilet there. And then into the large main suite here. Plenty of wardrobe space, nice big bed, air conditioning, more storage space here as well. Now this in itself is a large room. If we go back out here and turn right, you'll see down here is more dressing area. Let's see if I can find the light. There we are. Dressing area. They've even got enough room that they've made an office here as well. And next door to that is your ensuite. And this is probably as big as some studio apartments we've seen. Beautiful. Everything is really nice in this, this uh, villa. As I say, most things, um, most things will be staying furniture wise. So we're back out through the main area there. These are the stairs I talked about, so we'll have a wander down here. Bit of a surprise down here actually. When I came down earlier, there's a games room. It's all set up in sort of 50s style and billiard table. Lovely sort of Chevrolet front there, bar, jukebox. But it, as an area, it's very, very central. Over there, we'll have a look in a second, but over there there's a garage. Here there's a bathroom. There there's a bedroom. That's the stairs we've just come up. Another bedroom through there, another bedroom through there. So there's three bedrooms down here. Now this has been set up so you can see uh, that the owners are very, very interested in, well, let's say one of the owners, shall we, is very interested in uh, motor racing and football, so comes down here and watches that while the other half stays upstairs. Again, bathroom, bath and shower unit, nice marble topped sink unit here. Back out into the playroom, shall we say. Now this bedroom here has been set aside really for the children, or the three bears. So another nice big room. This is the, actually the only bedroom that doesn't have an ensuite. Um, but if you have a look, you can wander out here. This was the bathroom we were in just a second ago, so clearly this door could be closed off here. And a door made up there, where the, uh, here around here, where the wardrobes are. And then you've got yourself an ensuite for that one. So missing out the garage, which is over there. Got another large double bed here, put the light on. So large double bedroom, wardrobes here on the left hand side. And this one is en suite. That's just round here. Put the light on here. So again, toilet, bidet, bath, shower, and another marble topped sink unit. 
So back out here, a lot of the bedrooms seem to have the fans as well, ventilation fans. And uh, there's a big air conditioner unit runs down here in the games room um, over there. Probably can't quite see it, but it's just there. And then there's another bedroom in here. Again, wardrobe, fans. Big, big rooms, big rooms. And again, everything you expect. B-Day toilet, marble top basin. Now I have to be honest, I've been saying everything's negotiable, but I really don't think that this stuff in here is negotiable. It came over from the UK. And I should think it's going straight back to the UK as well. As I say, there's a garage here as well. Should have, should have done that before. Okay, there we are. So a nice large garage. Let's see if the lights come on. There we are. And another storage area up the end. Okay, so let's take you back upstairs. We come up up the stairs we came up before and we talk, we talked about the, uh, the kitchen and so on we've been into the lounge area and so on so we're back into the dining back into the lounge now the kitchen here as I say pretty new a lot of the stuff here that's very new that's a six uh, five five ring um, gas hob and then over that side there electric the ovens over there I say a lot of the stuff's quite new. Now how about breakfast out here with that view here. Lagomera just across there. Massives of space out here as well. Lots and lots of terrace areas. Built on about 300 meters squared the whole plot. Down here Got a lovely long dining table, imagine all the food on there. And where a better place to cook it? Just here on this barbie. Another storage area down there. Although I think that may be connected, I'm not sure, to the garage. Might be separate. And up here, another lovely chill out area. Watching the sunset, which you will just get there. And its own swimming pool as well. It's a obviously private pool. It's heated with solar panels. There's about four or five solar panels on the um, on the roof. And from here, well, it's cloudy at the moment on the La Gomera, but from here you can see La Gomera. Lovely relaxing chairs there. So overall, a superb family house. It's four bedrooms, classed as four or five uh, when the uh, owners first bought it. It was suggested it could be five because um, of the games room area. Although I know which I'd prefer to have four bedrooms and a games room all day long. Anyway, that's our four, maybe five bedroom villa in uh, Playa San Juan. Totally detached, own swimming pool, heated solar heating, um, lots of uh, new equipment in the kitchen. And uh, if you're interested in having a viewing, please give us a ring. The uh, phone number is on the website and it's Simon Sutton George from the Tenerife Property Group. So thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.